Hello everyone, welcome to Linux Tuition. Uh, Linux Tuition is the platform where you can find uh, lots of video tutorials about the cloud native computing, DevOps, and security. Myself, Mansur Hassan, I'm senior Linux and web consultant in IT Marcus Technologies powered by Service Planet. Uh, you could find me over LinkedIn. Uh, you could search Mansur Hassan, DevOps Architects. Uh, even you can you can email me at uh, mansur at gmail.com. So uh, in this video, uh, we're gonna continue our video series uh, Jenkins tutorials. In previous video, we saw that uh, Jenkins integration with GitLab. Uh, in further, I will continue uh, how we can deploy our code, uh, which is uh, placed on. Uh, GitLab and we need to deploy this on we have a server running on 192.168.8.102 So we have a junk Jenkins uh, and we need to deploy it uh, through a deployed code on get from GitLab to this server So for this we need uh, we need we need to install a plugin called uh, send artifact over SSH to do this we need to go to the manage Jenkins uh, manage plugins on the available section you could say uh, you just need to send uh, SSH so I already installed that plugin so it will be available uh, in my install plugin so I from here I need to install search for SSH so this is the plugin which I am going to use for uh, deploy the code on my web server so in order to configure or add my server to Jenkins we need again we need to go to the manage Jenkins configure system and we need to search for publish so not Kanban a uh, can board publish we need to uh, search for publish over SSH here we need to add our server for for this sake I already installed but I'll show you how you can install one more so for this uh, we need to search uh, like we need to click on add server on SSH server we need to provide a separate server like friendly name web server 02 in the host name we need to either specify the IP of the server which is this or if we have a, uh, any name of the server FQDN we can define over here as well we need to define the username and this is the remote directory where, it, uh, where the path is start in the advanced section we have a couple of options first we need to define the authentication method we have two authentication method one is the passphrase and other is the different key on the uh, on the clicking on uh, this checkbox we will see a password authentication and the key phrase so I'm gonna use key uh, passphrase so I'm just putting my password and if you have jump host or any other configuration related to the proxy you can define over here but I'm leaving it as it is so after that uh, I need to click on the test configuration if that is succeed that means um, I have correctly configured the server so I don't need this server I already have this server in, in my uh, server form so this is the server I'm going to use which is this so we have done with one part the next part we need to configure the job so go to the go to your project in our case it is web server we need to go to the configure in the in the build section we already configured but I'm doing it again for the sake of this tutorial so we uh, on the build step go, uh, go to the build and uh, from the add build step we need to select send file or execute command over SSH here we can see uh, a menu which requires some options this is the source file which I wanted to transfer from Jenkins to my remote server uh, in our case I'm saying anything on the current working directory or any files all the directories and all the files and the rem um, if we have some prefix like uh, we will uh, learn more about the prefix in when we were configuring the node.js pro uh, projects but as of now we will leave it uh, we, we will leave it blank so remote directory in our in our nginx uh, we have a path user share nginx 
slash html this is the path where uh, we have our all, all of our content I'm removing all the content from here so we could identify that we have deployed something so this is the path we, where we need to deploy our code so user share nginx html this is our remote server so we uh, we are done with our configuration what we need to do is we just need to apply okay so uh, this is our uh, this is something uh, we have uh, our gitlab repository in GitLab repository, I have a branch called Nginx, which I need to clone it. So let's see how we can add, as I said, like how we can clone our code. So from here, we, uh, first we need to add our uh, deployment key. To do this, like if I want to clone my code uh, from GitLab, first uh, the first step it uh, is I need to add my public key uh, to GitLab.com. For this. Uh, we need to go to the settings, go to the repositories and under the repository we can define expand deploy keys. I already have uh, added my key so what you need to do is you just need to call, call, paste your public key and give a friendly name and that's it. So this is our integration part is done with GitLab. So next part is we need to clone the port. So we have a uh, repository. Uh, test and we need to clone it okay uh, so test uh, okay from here i just need to copy the ssh code and i need to clone a branch called uh, nginx so i'm just specifying branch tag uh, and also i'm specifying the branch so it will it's uh, clone the nginx branch to my local machine so ls space minus la so if you, i go to the test folder and if i hit git branch it will say you are on an nginx so uh, i have a file called index.html so i'm just making some changes to my code so that is jenkins tutorial uh, so i'm saying para thanks to empty Marcus. I'm just adding some uh, friendly HTML codes, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. So I need to add some comment. Git add. Git comment. Comment message. Update index. Uh, Git push. Now I need to push to my remote branch. Uh, origin. Get push origin nginx. So it will it will uh, push my latest changes over here. So if I go to nginx and if I if I scroll like open the, my index dot file, so I can see this is the text which I added. So now I need to deploy this code uh, to my Jenkins. So from my Jenkins. So this is all we have to do is we just need to save. Uh, we need to build now because we can't wait long. We can go to the so you can see that three files being transferred to our remote web server. If we uh, hit refresh over here, so we can see that this uh, uh, we have deployed successfully deploy our code. So next item we need to pull this. Uh, like branch whenever the changes come to Jenkins uh, like whenever someone changes to code and push it to a main repo or any repo so Jenkins will automatically build for this sake Jenkins has an option called pull SCM if we go to the configure and under the configure if we go to the pull SCM option uh, we can see that uh, we have a poll uh, which is per minute so let's uh, so what we need to do is we just need to put some code, uh, put some changes in, into our code and then we will see uh, how Jenkins will react. So uh, we have 22 builds running uh, with this one. So now I am adding some more text to index.html and I am saying uh, h3 this is 
testing code so i am just closing this particular piece i am seeing git add git commit space minus m uh, adding some more text uh, git push origin uh, my branch is nginx let's wait for a while uh, and I can see that my uh, code is being pushed to uh, my branch which is nginx if I go to uh, if I go to over here and comments I can start seeing that adding some more uh, just uh, like author adding some text which which is my recent comment like adding some text so we just need to wait for a while okay uh, we can see that Jenkins is start building my uh, deployment automatically so this is it uh, we just need to refresh our web page okay we can see that code uh, code changes is being deployed over here so uh, this is how you can uh, deploy your code automatically uh, we, uh, to from Jenkins to your web servers uh, you can use a lot of features uh, with this uh, like uh, you can you can pull some hooks uh, uh, even you can add some more branches if you want some like uh, I have a uh, nginx branch uh, I'm saying uh, any branch called uh, nex-102 so any branch coming from uh, related to nex-02 like if someone push code to nex-102 so this should run so I'm just applying this as well and saving uh, now I'm checking out one more branch to get checked out nex-102 uh, which I specify okay so I have checked out my branch uh, let me see if I correct, uh, correctly checked out uh, so nex-102 so if I say get branch so it is nex102 so I'm adding one more uh, some more changes to my index.html so I'm saying some testing content for nex12 and I'm just closing my branch okay get push origin so I have a I have another branch nex102 uh, if I go to comment and uh, I can start seeing one more branch called uh, nex102 and this is my comment if I go to Jenkins and uh, uh, I can see uh, still uh, 23 builds already ran I uh, we need to wait for a while to see another build is coming so, uh, okay you can see 24 builds is running it is in quite period so our build is successfully deployed we just need to check okay so that is how uh, we can add multiple branches to our Jenkins job we can do a lot of stuff with Jenkins uh, but in this video, I'm stopping over here. In next video, I'll share you more stuff related to Jenkins. Till then, keep learning. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe our channel.